the future is calling. The question is, will we answer the call? We have no choice but to answer the call of the future. The future inexorably is barreling towards us. There is no avoiding the call of the future. Can we deny the future? Is it possible to say no to the future, to try and stay in the present? It may be possible, to, it may be possible to have some control over what the future brings, but to deny the future, to stay in the present, well... <laughs> the call of the future. Do we echo it back or do we reply with our own terms? The present is the future, yeah? The, the, this, this, this present moment was the future a minute ago. So, the, 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 <laughs> so yes, it is always the... Continual transformation of the future into the present. There is, a, there is a connection. The present molds the future, right? The future is potential. The present is real. Relating to the future from the present transforms the future. What happens when we relate to it from the past? Can't relate to it from the past. Past is, is but a memory. You can't be in the past, right? The past is as unreal as the future. If I've experienced a trauma, then that prevents me from seeing the future of what it really is. It puts a barrier between me and the future. It restricts what you can pull out of the future. And so in, in a very real way, the future isn't really anything. It is a well of potential for the next present to be. So our memories transform the potential which is inside of the well of the future. Yes, our memories, our feelings, our expectations, our biases, our predispositions, our desires, our fears, all of those things shape the future. Free ourselves from the past would be to, f to open up the future. Yes, that would be to have access to all of the potential that the future holds. To be free of the trauma of the past would be to be to accept any future. An infinite amount of potential in the future, but the future is being guided towards one specific path by trauma. Uh, yes, a tender, so not necessarily by trauma. Trauma is one thing, not only by trauma. One path which is being called, but then multiple paths, a fight amongst the paths, which path is the one which shall be chosen? Yes, a fight among the paths. Yes, that's good. That's good. And so the trauma will draw one towards the paths that relieve the trauma or relive the trauma. Mm hmm circle reliving the same moment over and over and over being caught inside a, a past which devours the present off topic but is there is there something in the fact that relieve and relive are so similar be relieved of one's life to relive one's life and to never experience relief yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, so trauma guiding entry into the future seems dangerous, limiting. Bliss guiding us towards a greater future. Would bliss be as narrowing as trauma in a different way, but is it as narrowing as trauma? Bliss is reciprocal opening, whereas trauma is reciprocal closing. And recovery from the trauma is a form of bliss, right? And so it's a transmography. Yeah, it's the turning the closing into an opening. Well, is bliss what heals the trauma? Oh, that's interesting. This is a chicken and egg job, isn't it? It's is the trauma healed by the bliss or is the bliss a consequence of the healing of the trauma? What else is there that could heal the trauma? 
looking at the fear in the present in the eye and overcoming the fear and what is where does one get the strength to do that is it the promise of bliss or is this some other reserve the surplus of energy that the society possesses to hold the sacred space So the sacred space is where one goes to look one's trauma in the face so that one may be relieved of it and sacred space is where the ritual elders contain the intergenerational trauma mm, yeah they have the blueprint of all the traumas that have gone before and they relate to your trauma and so you can be guided out of your trauma yes that's good he, the individual healing of the universal trauma through the ritual elders who have universalized themselves. And then beyond the personal trauma, there is coming to terms with the trauma of humanity that we all carry around with us. The trauma of life itself, of, of all living beings, uh, from the plant to the lion to the human. Yes, yes, but particularly to the human because the human is aware of it, right? The human can actually touch mm. it and experience it consciously. That's fucking cool. I like that 10 second game. That's a whole different thing, isn't it? Uh-huh.